Hey guys, it's Shanta. How are you? Welcome to Shanta Says. Tonight is Fat Friday Fashion and Talk. And normally, I try to get these videos in much earlier, but I've been all over the place today. Got caught in the rain twice in thunderstorms and lightning. It just was crazy and I got home late. So let's start fashion and talk. Now, I want to start with the makeup because oftentimes, especially lately, I don't know, I must be doing my thing with my makeup on my videos, I've been asked what products do I use in terms of my makeup. And I'm going to show you what my staples are. When I do my makeup, I know what colors really work for me. And I'm a gold girl. I'm, I feel like if I could all year round be tanned and golden goddess, that's my look. I love golds. I love greens. I love um, browns. For some reason, those colors just look really, really great on me. And a lot of you ask me about the blush that I'm wearing. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I use, okay? Now, I will tell you that if I look away from the cameras because I'm getting my stuff. I suffer from bags and under eye circles. I mean, it's just genetic. I hate it, but I deal with it. So I'm always very keen about what I put under my eyes in terms of a concealer because you need a great, great concealer. What I do use is Makeup Forever Professional, and that's this one. And it comes with two, three, four, five, five different, it's a mess, as you can see, I use it a lot. I use the orange a lot because my skin has an orange undertone, okay? And my makeup artist, Tokoa, she, she likes this. And we use that, and I just blend it out. I don't know if I have a brush, but I'm just going to use my finger real quick because your finger here, with the warmth of it and the soft padding is almost a perfect application. Okay. Now I'm not a makeup artist. I just been messing in makeup since I was like a little girl. And as you can see, I blend. And I just blend. I do have a makeup brush. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I do have a makeup brush for this, but I don't have it in front of me. Okay. And that's what I do with that. You see? This works wonders. And it comes in different tones. Like this particular one is palette number four. So when you go, I got it from Sephora. You go there. If you're not sure what to get, have one of the salespeople help you. And they'll, they'll help you pick the right. But I love Makeup Forever. I use the foundation. They're just, it's great on my skin. Oftentimes, I've used MAC in the past, but sometimes MAC can be drying for me. I already have a dry skin issue with my face, so I need products that add a little moisture to my face. So I use that for my under eye, okay? On my cheeks, a lot of you guys love this. This was Amber and Rose. I've talked about this one before, but this works really good on me. My girlfriend, Nina, uses this too. And this is all I do. Right? Because you're supposed to get the apples of your cheek, right? I also go in with MAC Finishing Skin skin Finish. And this one is called Gold Deposit. And I will sometimes do this. I'll go right over. I even do the tip of my nose with that. Because it gives me that. And you can also, you can go in here like that for that okay so these are products that I stand by I absolutely love it now I will tell you in terms of eyeshadow there is a palette that I use every single solitary day and these are just certain colors that I love that work with me and I use this thing up and I'll show you how much I use it up okay this is Maybelline eye studio I love 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 this product it's the give me gold again golds work for me and I just I know my face, I know my undertones, I know what works for me. And this product is absolutely wonderful because it's highly pigmented. And I like that. This is my brush that I use. Where did I buy this? I'm going to tell you where to buy it. I think I bought it at Walmart. A lot of my brushes I've gotten from MAC and from Sephora. But this one, it was a dual brush. And what I do with this one, this small piece here, what I like to do is after I do my liner and stuff, I like to go in here 
to give my eyes a little pop. I don't know if you could tell. Right in here. This brush is good for doing that. I'm trying to show you guys a little of what I do because you guys have asked me. Again, I'm no makeup artist. I just, I know my face. I gotta try to do somebody else's face and see what happens. I wouldn't want them to look like a clown, but I don't think I would clown things up. Now in this um, particular palette, there is like a, a off-white, yellow, gold, and a brown. And this gold, I will tell you, I love it so much because it's always my middle color. I use the top as a highlight up in here, right? And then in here, I use the gold and I just sweep that in here. I don't know if you guys can see this really good. I use that up in there and bam, that's what I do. Now for an eyeliner, cause I'm an eyeliner girl. I grew up with loving eyeliner. It's just what it is. And I grew up back in the days of, you know, Lisa, Lisa and all them people and everybody wore the eyeliner with the line going all the way here. But this particular, if you've never used lava, it's called uh, Lava Gloss, and it's by Too Faced Cosmetics. This is the best liner in the world. It goes on so smooth and beautifully, and I just do this. It's very smooth, it's very velvety, and I love that. I also like my eyes to have a little, you know, a little, smudgy look so I've got this brush from Sephora professional and it's my little smudge brush and I just go in with the brush and it works for me I mean these are things I use for every day when I'm getting my makeup done my makeup artist of course she uses more products she you know she's doing a lot more work than I'm doing but from day to day this is what works for me and I have to be honest, I get a lot of compliments on it. So I'm happy with the products that I use every day. You know, they work for me. The key to great makeup is finding your undertone and finding colors that work for you. Again, like I love pinks, I love golds, I love bronze. All those things work for me. So just knowing your undertone and knowing. And I'll be honest with you, since a little girl, I've been playing in makeup. I was one of those kids that was always in the mirror messing with my hair, messing with makeup, and my sisters thought I was crazy. My mother was like, get your ass out the mirror. But it paid off because look at what I'm doing now. <laughs> what do you think of that? So on to the next thing, my little finds. I want to show you guys what my daughter got me at a vintage place. I love this. How cute is this? It reminded me of Wonder Woman, like a Wonder Woman type of necklace. I love this. She bought, She got me that. I also went to Forever 21, and I always find great jewelry in there. I love Forever 21 for that. I found this ring there. It's like a little pearl. It's really cute. Okay, and I found this necklace, which I really love because I recently ordered this beautiful olive color maxi dress. And with this peacock feather there, it's going to look really nice. So just that, and it wasn't expensive. I think this was like... At the vintage store, this was like a dollar. She got this from New York City Housing Works. And they have a lot of great finds in here, be it jewelry, clothes, shoes, even furniture. You could go in there and find really good stuff that they sell for little or nothing. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a vlog, a Fat Friday, on paparazzi earrings. Paparazzi earrings have gotten a lot of attention because the basketball wives wear those earrings. If you're an earring connoisseur, if you love big hoops, you love beautiful earrings, you know that those earrings are the earrings to have. And in the past, I went on record and I said, you shouldn't ask a designer, someone who makes jewelry, to copy another person's look. It's not cool. Now, I will tell you, I may have to renege on my statement. The paparazzi earrings, one thing that I love about Shonda says is that I try to find you guys economical ways of looking beautiful. Not everyone can afford certain things. The paparazzi earrings can run you at least 100 
Some pieces you'll find on there like 40 something, which I think isn't bad. But a lot of people in this day and age with children can't afford to do a very expensive earring of like $100. If you can, that's great. I featured them on Shonda Says. It's Papa, I love paparazzi.com. If you can't afford it, go on. Now, I did find a young lady that makes earrings very close, and she puts her spin on them. I'm wearing those now. And that is her name is April, and she's from ManyFacesOfBeauty.com. I'm going to put up the link to her website. And she made me these beautiful, these beautiful, I'm going to come out of because I'm wearing black. But it's black and gold with these here. Okay, she made me these. And she also made me these, which I love. And I'm going to tell you, they're not paparazzi, and I don't care. I love them. And April has done such a beautiful job with these earrings. When you go on, you will see her prices. They're like $40, $35. It's very economical for women who want the look but can't afford paparazzi. Again, if you can afford paparazzi, go on that link. I'm going to provide that link as well as many faces of beauty. She made me these. I'm going to try the black ones on for you guys. Do you notice I don't have music today? I'm, I'm lucky I got internet with the storm, but that's, you like them? Aren't they pretty? I just, I love them. I think they're beautiful. Thank you, April. And I'm ordering more stuff from her. And I'm also going to go on ilovepaparazzi.com because they have some beautiful crystal encrusted earrings that I, that I want. And I'll spend a little more for them. But if you can't afford them, it doesn't mean you shouldn't have the luxury of having them. And so what if it isn't paparazzi? Go on to Many Faces of Beauty. Her earrings are just as beautiful. And if anyone asks, tell them. Don't be afra afraid or ashamed to say where you got your earrings. Because the people that make the jewelry love the fact that people love what they're doing. And we as women just should, should support each other in our endeavors. Because, you know, getting yourself out there and becoming... A businesswoman, I'm all for that. And I love women that do that. This is also one of my little bracelet finds that I got from um, Forever 21. Now, before I wrap this video up, I have something to show you guys. How many of you, because I love costume jewelry, as you see. I have my real jewelry and I have costume jewelry. I always have my costume jewelry. I'll go in Aldo's or Baker's or wherever else. And buy my earrings because I love that. And I love big earrings. But what happens when we go and we buy these earrings? Can you see this? What do they do? They tarnish, right? And before you know it, your little $6 that you spent, and you throw them away. But I found something where you don't have to throw your stuff away. That you can refresh your cheap earrings, yeah. I'm going to show you right now. So I need my gloves. What I did was I cut up one of my husband's old white tees. Scoop is a white tee king, t-shirt king. And he never wears them more than once. So I have all these white t-shirts around my house, which I do, is I cut them up and I use them for house cleaning around the house and for this little job right here. So here we go. What you're going to do, even your old hoops that you don't wear no more, that you have sitting around, right? You're going to take them, and this product you're going to go buy this weekend. Tarnish Shield. It's going to spruce up your earrings, and I'm going to show you. Sometime a little water could get in there. I'm going to show you what you could do. So you take it, and you put it on the rag, right? Just You don't need a lot, like this much. Can you guys see that? All right, I don't like Fat Fridays without music. They seem a little boring. But anyway, you put it on, right? You see, I'm spreading it on there. Spreading it on, right? It's going to dry a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is the dry side of this cloth, I'm going to go in and start rubbing. And when I show you the difference, you're going to be like, oh, my gosh. And what you're going to do is you're going to go out and clean up all your costume jewelry. 
I'm going to show you how good it is, how good it comes off. Now, sometimes with gold, I will tell you, it tends to have a rose gold look, which I love. And actually, rose gold is having a strong comeback in jewelry. If you didn't know that, I'm putting you up on that because it's true. Rose gold is making a comeback. And so if your, your earring still comes out a little rose goldy, still rock them. They still look good. You see? Look at how that dirt came off. You see that? Let me show you before and after. As I want to shine it up really good for you guys. And when you see how great your earrings are going to look and how you're spending your money and you're saving your looks, this product works wonders. You see the difference? It works wonders. I'm sorry. Let me see if I could get this glare off. Okay. It's completely the... the it's all gone. And I purposely kind of waited to show you guys. I need a better camera. I'm going to get a better camera. Because I want you to really see how these... How these came out. That was one. This is the one before. Okay. This is the one I just shined up. It looks brand new. Okay. I'm sorry if my camera isn't that great. But anyway, those are little tricks that you could do to save your jewelry. And I love that because even if I spend $6, clearly I love the earring enough I want to wear it. You know, and I'm going to tell you what else I do with my earrings. You can get your, your earrings dipped. There's a place that um, I'm going to say it. I'm going to let you know the name of the place next Fat Friday. But um, what you could do is you bring them all your gold jewelry and they'll dip it. In the last six months, they actually dip it in gold for you. And it lengthens the life of your gold earrings. Okay, so that's another option. Why get rid of all your jewelry? Your costume jewelry. I mean, you're paying your money, and nowadays we need all the money we can get. No, that's true. But anyway, I'm not going to keep you long. I love you. This is going up late. I'm really sorry, but it's the summer months. I mean, after the kids go in school, I'll be more, you know, more in an even queue. But until next time, I love you. Bye-bye.